It's Annie. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to show you something that I call Botox in a bottle. This is going to lift your eye area. If you have eye bags, it is a miracle. If you have puffiness, it is a miracle. It works. But the trick is that you have to apply it correctly. If you do not apply it correctly, it is not going to work. You got to wipe it off and you have to do it again. Okay. So this is the product. I've shared this before. It's going to be a little bit more detailed video though, because you're going to see me apply it. You're going to see me apply it with some concealer too. And it's this. So this is the Peter Thomas Roth Instant Firm XI. I bought this, I feel like it's been two years now. I feel like I still have my tube. I do have to shake it up a little bit more now at this point, but the thing about this is that you have to use very, very little. Now, one question I've had asked, can you wear an eye cream under this? Yes, but you've got to let it fully absorb. So you wouldn't like do your, you know, morning skincare routine and then just do your makeup right away. Go have your breakfast, make your bed, do whatever. Come back about 20 minutes later, then you'll be ready for this. But you want it to absorb really well. And again, you have to apply this correctly. If you don't apply this correctly, what's going to happen is you're going to see it's going to look like chalky. And when it looks like that, it's because you use too much product and you may have overworked it. Now, sometimes I get just a tiny bit of that chalkiness and I just tap it and I can get it to blend out. But you'll, you, you'll just know. If you've worked with this, then you know how it is. So let's take a tiny bit Oh gosh, that's way too much. That squirt on my finger, way, way too much. We're going to take a little bit of that, okay? That's more than, that's going to be extra. I don't, I'm not even going to use it for both eyes. So what you're going to do, get it on your ring finger, and we're going to tap it on and blend it. Don't smile. Don't do anything like that. Leave it alone. Then I'm going to take my fan and I'm going to let it dry. So here I got a little bit too much. I want you to see what it looks like. I don't know if you can see it. See how it looks really white? So I got to reapply it. It is finicky. It is finicky. You just have to know that. So I'm going to wipe it off and I'm going to do it again. You know, some people say you don't have really, you don't have a lot of puffiness. It depends on the day. There's some days that I do and some days I don't. But even with that, do you see the difference already? Do you see this eye? Oh, I have that little puffiness right there. And a lot of that is caused because I have this tear trough. Do you see the difference? See how this is smooth? It's like an instant eye lift. It's amazing. So let's do the other eye. Let me make sure I have a little bit of I accidentally got a little bit of foundation up there. You do not want to get foundation on there. You don't want a lot of product under there, okay? I am going to show you how to do concealer, but you just have to do it the right way. You can feel it tightening. Do you see that? Look at look at how I don't have that puffiness. You guys, this stuff is freaking amazing. It really is. Look at that. I just gave myself an instant eye lift. It's just amazing. This stuff is amazing. And no, it's not going to crack or anything. People ask me that. No, it doesn't crack. See? Smile doesn't crack. So now I'm going to put a little concealer on. This is where you got to be careful. Okay? Because this is where you can F it all up. You don't want to use a lot and you, you can only use a little bit. I'm using my Sicily concealer. I wouldn't use anything like a stick concealer. You're not going to want to put it on with your doe fit applicator. You have to be very gentle because you don't want to disturb this. If you disturb it, then you got to do it again. So that's what I said. That's the only negative thing about this. This is very finicky. I'm going to take just a little bit of concealer, just a tiny bit, which I only always use a tiny bit anyways. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lightly tap that on there and I mean lightly see that just want to make sure that I'm it good I like this one because it's really easy to blend I just love this concealer though <laughs> if you know me you know I love this concealer but look at the difference already look at that 
what tear trapped. I don't know tear trapped. Mm, look at. So again, let's get a tiny, tiny bit. Just a little bit. I'm just going to tap it really gently. I mean, I'm barely, barely touching. Whoo, girl, I put too much. I'm going to really watch it here. So I use very little product. I can't stress that enough. I have a little bit because I have allergies. I have a little bit of redness underneath my eyes, like right here. So I'm just going to take this. This is from Color Science. This is their mineral powder corrector. I'm going to take this color here because this cancels out the red. I'm just going to put a little bit right in here. Like that. I'm going to zoom you guys in so you can see. Hopefully you can see. It's hard when I go like this, then I, you're going to see some shadows. I'm going to do the best I can. That way, and then, okay, that way, and, okay. This stuff is freaking amazing. So if you have under eye bags, this stuff is like Botox in a bottle. This really is like Botox in a bottle. One question I get asked, can you use it anywhere on your face? I don't know. It's pretty finicky. You can try it. Don't know. They do make a face version, and I did test it, and I hated it. I actually had a weird reaction to it, like my face got all red and itchy and stuff, which doesn't usually happen. I just found that the face one felt like I put glue on my face. I just felt like I couldn't let go of the old. It was just horrible. It was a horrible feeling. It just was just, no. Mm -mm. So, again, I don't know. Some people have asked me if you can put it in those areas. I don't know. All I can say is you can try it. You can, you can test it out and see. But I will tell you, again, it works for in your eyes. It's freaking amazing. You've got to apply it correctly, though, because I've had comments on my other video, like, it doesn't work. It does work. You're just not using it right. It works. There's not too many things that I say. Like, I test a lot of products out. I know not everything works for everybody, but this is something. It works. But you have to apply it correctly. If you don't, it is not going to work. So, again... Just gonna recap it really quickly. Use very, very tiny bit amount. You tap it on, you leave it alone, you let it dry. If it dries chalky, you didn't apply it right. It happens to me. You wipe it off, make sure that the area is dry, and you apply it again, okay? Don't make any expressions when you're letting it dry, just let it dry. And then if you wanna use a concealer, you do not use a lot of concealer. You want to use something that's like, this is just, I love this concealer. I'm not saying you have to go get this one, okay? But it's a very lightweight concealer. It's like when I wear this, it doesn't feel like I'm wearing concealer. It's really nice. Um, I wouldn't recommend putting foundation up there. I just think you don't, the thing is, again, you don't want to overwork it. When you put that concealer on, you just want to dab it on just a tiny bit. Like you're barely even touching on your skin, so you barely want to put it on. Because the more that you work with and you're like moving stuff around there, it's just not gonna, it's not gonna stay. But I'm just telling you, okay? And you're just gonna mess it up and you're gonna have to do it again. So less is best. If you want this to work and it does work, very little of this and very little of the concealer. And that's it and you gotta leave it, leave it alone it doesn't crack on me it stays on until i take it off boom end of story all right so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any questions let me know in the comments and i will do the best i can answering your questions and i will see you guys all in my next video bye they look like <laughs> look what kind of a smells Oh, that's nice.